Welcome to the bullpen, and this time we're playing as Nick at the request of one of my commenters, Big J. And the thing about Nick is that if you look at his face, he looks kind of uncomfortable, sad, miserable, broken, empty, like he's about to curl up and cry. Really, he, he's a very relatable man. Anyway, about this level, I love, love, love the bullpen. I love it so much. Alright, first there's this area full of intricate catwalks, which is just really fun. Because you can get an angle up above the enemies, or the enemies can get an angle above you. Which doesn't happen too often in this game. Uh, there's a big cage in the middle of the catwalk, which you can camp out in if you're lucky enough. There's even an ammo box in the cage to make camping easier. The grenade is especially fun to use on the catwalk because you can fire it over the railing. Really, the catwalk is the the highlight of this level. If this whole level was just the catwalk, that would be fine. They could call the level the catwalks, but it's not just the catwalk. There's more, and that's also good. This level is not just distinct because of the open area of the catwalk that allows for some genuine sniping and really fun grenade launcher usage, which again, I want to stress how fun the catwalks are. But uh, this level, this stage, this location, whatever you want to call it, gives you a lot of good places to camp. And the catwalk connects to the other part of the level at almost every point it could reasonably do so. So if you want to shake the enemies, you can just do one... Wow, god, I forgot how much damage those guys deal on this difficulty. So as I was saying, the catwalk connects to the other areas of the level at almost any point it could reasonably do such, which means that... If you want to escape the enemies, you can just do one giant loop around the stage. Uh, the fact that the catwalks exist also mean it's, uh, it's more easy for the enemies to flank you and more fun to outflank the enemies. This is one of the good areas to camp in, by the way. Uh, this little office back here. It's pretty good. It's not so good when a giant guy walks in, though. At that point, it's time to stop camping. Because on the higher difficulties, the giant men are actually actually a big deal. I was actually really excited to play this level because I think this level, in addition to just being really fun to play, just looks really fun to play also. There's so much flanking going on both on your side and on the enemy's side. There's so many stairs. I think I've mentioned how much I love stairs. There's a lot of stairs in this level. This level is it's largely stairs, really. There's stairs fucking everywhere, all over the place. Stairs are just the best thing in this game, honestly. I love stairs so much. The catwalks have so many stairs. The catwalks also have catwalks, and I find catwalks inherently fun for some reason in video games. Maybe because I like traversing locations that normal people traverse in everyday life. Sounds like walking simulators would be my kind of thing, but usually walking simulators have some kind some kind of complex, emotional, philosophically gripping story. And when I say walking simulator, I mean I just like want a game where you walk around in an office building and nothing bad happens. You know, payroll probably fits that bill, but payroll is emotionally uh, deep as well, just not in an outward way like most things are. It's not like Firewatch or some shit. I kind of wonder what it's like working on a project like this, because the developers of the game very clearly understand arena shooters, understand arena shooter level design, very clearly enjoyed making third-person shooters, and they did their best to make a good licensed game with what obviously very limited budget they had. Let's be real here, the budget must have been incredibly tight. But they had to know their game was going to get poor reviews and get shat on, right? No matter how much passion or love they put into it, people were going to hate this game. That was just already pre-decided. It doesn't help that people hated the movie the game is based on as well. The studio that made this also went bankrupt shortly after releasing this game, which blows because I would have loved to see more third-person shooters from them, but, you know, that's just how this industry goes, I guess. At least they made a couple of things I enjoy before they went under. I guess I can look at it that way. So, uh, next level will be the last one, where we confront, uh, several bosses and see the ending of the game. Which is vaguely related to the ending of the film, but in the loosest fashion imaginable. 
It's not a... The game's really bad as a licensed game. It's a good shooter, though. Stay close and hold off the dedos while we arrest him. 